Hi, it's Kim Darwaza here, your Northern Virginia Realtor. And today I'm going to discuss with you how I manage my clients' expectations for showings when I list their property. We live in a very multicultural area here in the DC area. There are also people from different states. There are different people, there are people from different backgrounds. And so there are a lot of different social norms. And what you and I may think is rude, other people think is normal. So agents will schedule appointments and they will not show it up at all. They will be late. They will be early. They may um, just be showing other property to their clients in the neighborhood and just knock on your door and ask if they can show your property. You may also have random people do this, which is a safety issue. So I would probably have them call me if it's not an agent. I've actually had um, an agent show up at in the middle of dinner, open the lockbox, come walking in my client's house and had not scheduled an appointment. My client was in her pajamas, so she asked them to please leave and schedule an appointment. But I think sometimes we stage our properties so well that some of the agents actually think that they are vacant, but they are not. But regardless, they are still required to schedule an appointment. No one is allowed to enter anyone's property without permission unless it says that in the showing notes. Another thing is that um, they may just pull up in your driveway and leave because they don't like the lot or the neighborhood. They may come in your house for a minute and say, you know, this isn't for us and leave. Or they may there be, be there for an hour and a half because their clients love the property and they, you know, have to look at every nook and cranny. People will sit on your bed, sit on your furniture, use your bathroom. Their kids will touch everything in your house and they will not tell them not to touch anything. They will go through your cabinets. So just uh, be aware of that. They will not lock your doors because they will either forget because they're talking and engrossed in a conversation or they can't figure out how to lock it. That's like a Pella door situation. They're hard to lock. They will turn off lights that were on because you have multiple showings. They will leave lights on that they just turn on themselves. So uh, I just wanted to let you know um, that these are things that are gonna happen. I call, text, and email every agent for feedback. Some of them respond, some of them it's as if they've joined witness protection and I will never hear from them again, but that's pretty much an indication that their client does not wanna purchase your home. So anyways, those are pretty much the ways I manage my clients' expectations. And so if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I love to hear from everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day.